Welcome to Gaming Fin, your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the financial markets. My name is Mr. Orange and guys, today we have to talk about CI Games. CI Games, the stock of today. And who is CI Games? So CI Games is a Polish gaming company, Polish gaming company, and they are working at the moment on the Lords of the Fallen. So this is Lords of the Fallen and it's going to, uh, the game has already 41,000 followers. So, so, but what is the reason that this stock is up again? 16 percent so 16 percent and we going we have a if i if i understand this now correctly we have a pe ratio of 37 and guys so i'm invested in ci games i'm now 140 percent up 140 percent so that's a lot so but my investment was not so big because uh, in uh, in small companies in penny stock companies i'm not investing mostly uh, so this those big amounts uh, uh, of cash of course so on the five years you see this this uh, or let's say on the max chart since 2014 we already had here a little pump in 2015 and then uh, we were falling from 2017 to 18 uh, massively down so i don't know what happened but uh, guys this is really scary so and i'm starting to think about it might be better actually to sell my position so i'm telling you this now i haven't totally decided yet so of course it can always uh, going to uh, going up uh, even more so everything is possible and sometimes if you sell then <laughs> then it's just continues raising or it goes down a little bit and then it continues going up so guys i'm a very bad seller when it comes to gaming companies or when it comes to uh, stocks in general because this year is not healthy so this is not healthy and this is since the 15th of march 67 percent up so guys 140 percent for me oh my god this is so crazy and if you look at the fibonacci retracements i mean look at the fibonacci retracements we see also this this simply looks this simply looks not good. So if stocks go up so fast, so quickly, then you're always going to ask you the question. So is my investment case actually still there? I mean, is this is this, is this stock uh, growing into the sky, to the moon or whatever? So obviously not. So I'm a long-term investor. So I am, guys, I'm way more... I'm way more cautious on this and sometimes also what may annoys me then then on the one hand you you have the stock that went up like over 100 percent and then it falls again uh, and then you tell yourself so, oh i should have sold i should sell so guys i'm not a financial advisor i'm not saying to buy any stocks i'm not saying to sell any stocks so this is all just my personal opinion uh, as, as a retail investor and a youtuber so please 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 don't go and buy this stock now i'm honestly saying this so buying this stock now is simply ah, simply suicide because i think it it uh, i i i cannot i can just look at the chart and think that's crazy six over 60 percent in such a short time so guys this is crazy but should you do anything else yeah do nothing it's always the best so this is my little disclaimer guys so if you also go to lots of the fallen on the steam page why they removed the they do you trust the publisher behind the game someone asked uh, will there be Ukrainian language gameplay? What happened to Russian localization character customization? PvP confirmed according to Steam apps on March. They removed the Russian. Ooh. Oh, but that's 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 a special point. But does this has something to do that the game is now so popular? So that's actually really funny. So well, so it's not it's not for me to decide this. It's a Polish gaming company. They do of course what they consider best for their game so souls like title coming and it's just crazy guys it's just crazy 399 slotties now this means nothing but you just have to look at the chart and we have a crazy p ratio now for those times uh, that we are in so i'm just going to observe this uh, stock a little bit more if you also compare it oh let's compare the uh, if you compare it here with CD Projekt, actually, it, it looks terrible uh, over the max uh, 2014. That's also interesting. Sometimes uh, if we compare it and with uh, uh, with 11-bit studios, I'm invested in CD Projekt, not in 11-bit studios. So 11-bit studios looks from all of those companies the best. So hmm, sometimes you don't know which one is the best, going to be the best, best company, but 11-bit studios really pulled it off with a 7 5 7,549 percent and then CD project still up nicely even if it's down and CI games uh, CI games now 141 percent since uh, since since their IPO so I guess a lot of people hope that it also goes in this direction so we can 
you never know guys you never know it can happen everything so thank you very much for watching this so disclaimer I'm not financial advisor make your own mistakes don't buy anything you see on a youtube channel and with that i'm leaving it here see you next time bye bye